Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. What I have here is the brand new one. Let me show you the box, here is the back. So here is what contains inside, I'll show that of course. Now let's open it and see what comes inside and also how the phone looks. And I'm also going to set it up and show you how the screen and everything looks. And I'm going to give you guys my first impression from setting it up and all that. So let's open up the box. And right on top, we have the phone. And uh, let's put this paperwork aside. Here we go with the phone. Has this plastic on behind, quad cameras on the back. I'll talk about those a little bit later. And here we go with the screen. This is a very, very large phone, 6.8 inches. This is almost all screen. Uh, doesn't have any bezels. I'll show you that once I turn it on. But let's see what else comes inside the box. So here we have SIM injector pin on the back. And uh, let's see, how am I supposed to open this? So here we go. So we get USB-C to USB-C cable. There's no charger brick. Um, none of the newer flagship phones come with the charger brick anymore. But here is a little quick start guide. This is for all three phones. And that's it. Let's see if there's anything else. So there's nothing else. And uh, let's see if there's... So that will be all inside the box. Now let's check the phone. Now here we have the S Pen. And let me show you guys that. So we have S Pen built in which is really, really cool. And now let's put that back inside. Really cool that it's actually built in, so you won't be able to lose it. And it comes in handy from time to time just to pop it out, do some drawing, writing, whatever you're doing. So here on the bottom, we have the speaker grill, USB-C for charging. Then we have the SIM card slot. And here on the side, we have the power button, volume rockers, microphone, and then on this side, we don't have anything. Um, the phone itself isn't heavy for the size. This is 6.8 inch phone. So it's not, not too heavy. I mean, it does definitely has some weight to it because it, it is so large. And this is really, really good build quality, but um, not too heavy at all. Now, since we're on the back of the phone, let's talk about the camera. So there's quite a few different things going on. We do have four cameras on the back. We do have the flash. So the main camera on the back is 108 megapixel, which is different than the regular S22 or S22 Plus. They come with the 50 megapixel wide cameras. Then we also have 12 megapixel ultra wide, 10 megapixel tele 3x optical zoom camera. And then we have another 10 megapixel with the 10x optical zoom. Um, and then of course we have the flash. And then on the front, we have 40 megapixel front facing selfie camera, which is also different from the regular S22 and S22 Plus, which comes with the 10 megapixel front facing camera. So a big difference in the cameras between those two phones. So if you're looking for really good cameras, I definitely recommend getting the S22 Ultra instead of the regular S22 or the S22 Plus. All right, next I'm going to turn it on, set it up, and then I'm gonna talk about the screen and the storage and RAM and all that. All right, so I just finished setting it up, and my first impression when I turn it on, the screen is just gorgeous, a very, very large, beautiful screen, and also the brightness is really good. Right now I have it only at 50%. I think it's really bright. Probably I'm going to use it at 20, 30% during the day and inside the house but the screen looks very very bright very very beautiful the colors just pop i was going through the wallpaper so i wanted to add something else but i decided to keep it on the default so you guys can see how it looks once you take it out of the box and set it up next let me show you the apps that came uh, factory default apps that come with the phone. So we have Netflix and we do have a lot of Samsung app. We also have a lot of Android apps, which is normal because this is Android phone. But here are some of the Samsung apps. You will also get some on the bottom, like Samsung Global. Other than that, there is Netflix and there is Spotify and YouTube Music. Other than that, it's all default apps. They usually come with all the Samsung phones. So no bloatware other than those three apps I just mentioned. 
Next, I wanted to talk about the storage because there's a couple differences in storage. So make sure you're getting the right phone. 128 gigabytes comes with the eight gigabytes of RAM. 256, 5 full, and 1 terabyte comes with 12 gigabytes of RAM. So keep that in mind. Nothing wrong with 8 gigabytes of RAM. This is fast RAM, so 8 gigabytes is plenty. But if you need more storage and you want more future proof when it comes to the RAM, definitely go with the 256 uh, gigabyte storage and larger. Overall, my first impression, very, very positive. This is very, very premium high quality phone everything about it screens premium the bottom even when i was injecting the sim card uh slot it was very just the way you pop it in you can just feel the difference definitely amazing that they include that s pen i'm not a big fan of the pen uses but i can definitely see myself now that i do have it i can definitely see myself using it more often for writing or just controlling the screen or even doing some artwork Overall, this is one of the best phones you can get right now, and I would definitely recommend that. Thank you guys for watching.